Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this chicken that I had in my freezer. I got it from Tom Thumb, and it was 50% off of that 870. And these are marinated chicken breast um, with a smoky Alabama marinade. We're not huge chicken breast people, but I could not beat that deal for four dollars and something for um, like two pounds, a little over two pounds of chicken. So last time I bought their marinated chicken, I didn't feel like the seasoning um, was very strong for me, for us. So I decided to use um, some of this keto chicken seasoning on it as well. I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit just to give it a bit more flavor. So we're going to throw it on the grill and then I'll be back to show you everything all plated up. Okay, so here is the chicken and I thought these were chicken breast and they're actually chicken tenderloins. Imagine my surprise. So there were about 13 of them in there, which is actually a better deal than the chicken breast because um, tenderloins are more tender and juicier. So I got a really great deal serving it with a side of some stir fried broccoli and then some chicken fried rice. Um, and it is by Bibby Go. I had to take it out of the box to make some room in my freezer, but this is really good fried rice. There are directions for microwave and stovetop. I always make mine in the stovetop and I always take out the green peas that come with it because I can't stand it. The trick to this fried rice is to stir fry it on the stove a lot longer than the directions tell you until it looks like this, until that rice begins to separate. It is so good. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this Texas Smokehouse fully cooked sausage made with pork and beef. I actually got this from Kroger a while back ago um, and it looked really good to me. There are seven sausages in here and we are going to throw them on the grill. So once we get them all cooked up, I will show you our plates. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. Howard and I tried the sausages and I think they're pretty spicy. Howard said they have a, a bit of a kick to them too. So if you've ever had a hot link, this sausage is not the same as a hot link. It's a different kind of heat. Um, I mean, it's good. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Um, probably not child friendly. This is definitely something that Harrison would not be able to eat. Um, it has a good flavor, but I think I prefer my hot links to this sausage. But anyway, just got a little bit of mustard on there and um, serving some sun chips on the side. We are having these French onion sun chips. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a quick and easy meal. In my freezer, I had um, this garlic butter shrimp from Costco. You get two one pound bags and supposedly there are four servings in each bag, but that just wasn't the case. There may have been two and a half servings in each bag, um, but it is really good. We tasted the sauce and it is very good, very light in flavor. Serving mine with some thin spaghetti and a little um, breadstick on the side. I would definitely buy this again. It's very tasty, quick and easy weeknight meal. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this uh, crunchy chicken with orange sauce from Bibby Go. I really like their products. They have a hot and spicy um, version of this and also like a soy garlic version, which are really good. This uh, orange sauce is newer and I wanted to give it a try. And so here it is on the plate. I um, cooked my chicken in the oven, serving it over some rice, and then we're having a side salad with some red onions and this ginger dressing that I love. You can find it at Kroger and also at Walmart. So I tasted the orange chicken. It 
it is pretty tangy. Like the holy grail of orange chicken for me is Trader Joe's. This to me is not like Trader Joe's. Um, if you prefer a more orange forward flavor, then this is definitely something you would like. Um, if Howard likes it, I'll probably buy it again, but I wouldn't buy it again just for me to eat. I would stick with Trader Joe's. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a recipe that I clipped out years ago from a magazine that is no longer around. As you can see, it says 2015. That's when I clipped it. It's from um, All You magazine. I used to love that magazine. So I'm trying out this three cheese spaghetti gratin. It's a meatless meal. I did find the recipe online, so I will link it in the description box so you guys can check it out. But let me show you what I've done. I've got a, I followed it exactly. I've got a cup and a half of um, spaghetti noodles in here, along with some Swiss and mozzarella cheese and some green onions. And I've got some salt and pepper ready to go. In this bowl, I have some um, beaten eggs and, whoops, beaten eggs and milk. And in this bowl, I have butter, um, Parmesan cheese, like the kind that comes in that like the craft parmesan cheese and then i also have some panko now i did have to add extra butter it calls for three tablespoons of butter but it was really dry so i added an additional two tablespoons of butter but i'm just gonna add in this egg mixture to the pasta add in my seasonings pour it into this greased pie pan and then i'm just gonna top it with the panko and then I'm gonna bake it. It says at 375 for about 25 minutes. Probably gonna bake it a little bit longer. I wanna make sure that egg mixture is cooked all the way through. But anyway, of course, I'll bring you back once I have everything all ready. Okay, and so I just added in the egg mixture to the pasta and this is what it looks like. I just wanted y'all to see. Kinda of reminds me of a quiche with spaghetti, but we'll see. Okay, so the spaghetti gratin is out of the oven and I did end up baking it for 30 minutes and it is cooked all the way through, as you can see. And to me, it really does look like the picture. It's um, actually pretty tasty. Now, if you are the type that needs a sauce with your pasta, you are definitely gonna wanna add some sauce, some marinara, some Alfredo or something. It doesn't bother me. Howard will probably miss the sauce too, but it's, you know, I thought it was going to be like a quiche and it's really not. It's really just like a, a baked pasta. And if you think a cup and a half of um, spaghetti isn't enough, it really is. So definitely stick with a cup and a half of spaghetti. So I'm serving mine with a little Caesar salad on the side and we had some extra hot dog buns. So I just uh, toasted the hot dog buns with butter and a little bit of garlic powder and just threw them in the air fryer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.